Tipuis are high mesa formations, very steep plateaus whose walls are practically vertical and whose peaks are generally almost flat. Tipui means mountain or house of the gods, because according to the legends of the indigenous people, there live terrible beings with non-human appearance, which terrify the locals. Some tribes call them gods, others ghosts. More than 85% of these formations are located in southeastern Venezuela, where there are about 115 tipuis in the Gran Sabana, 10% exist in Guyana and 5% in Brazil. They are considered the oldest elevations on Earth, are millions of years old and date back to the time when the Americans in Africa formed the supercontinent. They are often more than 1000 meters higher than the surrounding jungle. The plains are often covered with cloud forests that rise up to two meters above the lowlands. Due to their remoteness, the extreme verticality of the walls and the humidity of the rocks, they also have a unique flora and fauna. The reason for this are enormous steep walls of sandstone that form a natural barrier. Venezuelan law has banned visits to some tipuis, supposedly to protect them, but why do they want to protect some and not others? Why do they make a distinction? It seems that the ban affects of all places those peaks where the locals claim to have seen lights and strange creatures. Could this be a coincidence? Among the most famous tipuis is Mount Roraima, the highest and easiest to climb in the entire Canaima National Park. This elevation covers 30,000 square kilometers and is home to the indigenous Pemon people. For the natives, the Tipuis are very special because they believe that they are the home of the Mawari spirits. The Pemon called Mount Roraima the mother of all waters because numerous waterfalls cascade down from its summit feeding the Orinoco, Esequibo and Amazon rivers. Another very popular Tipui is Tipui Aoyan, which means Devil's Mountain in the Perman language. The largest of all the Tipuis is 700 square kilometers in size, almost 3000 meters high, and from its summit falls the highest waterfall in the world, the Angel Falls. We can't help but mention the mysterious Sari Sarinyama Tipui in Venezuela, near the border with Brazil. This is the most remote plateau in the country. It is hundreds of kilometers from the nearest road and access is restricted. On the summit of Sarisarinyama Tepui, at 2,300 meters above sea level, there are strange and inexplicable cavities, practically circular, which are a real mystery for geology. The mouths are 350 meters in diameter and the depths of these wells also happen to be 350 meters. In addition, the walls here are also completely vertical, which is very unusual. No less mysterious is the Autana Tipui, which rises 1300 meters above the ground. On the surface of the Tipui, there are huge canyons, about 400 meters deep. It's believed that there were caves whose roofs collapsed. Cerro Autana, although composed of almost horizontal layers of sandstone, contains caves and other karst formations that are rarely found in rocks other than limestone. Inside, there are large empty rooms that look like interconnected caves and a huge room with a vaulted ceiling. This large vaulted room has two unequal caves that cross the mountain from side to side, opening up like balconies onto the vertical walls of the mountain, more than 1,500 meters above the jungle. One of these openings is so small that it cannot be seen from the foot of the mountain. For the indigenous people of this area, the Piaroa tribe, Autana is a sacred mountain. For them, it's the tree of life. They believe that in the past it was a huge tree. Kwai Mayolo is the name of the mountain in the Piaroa language, which means the sacred tree of the fruits of the world. According to the Piaroa mythology, it's the stump of a tree whose crown was infinitely high. Its branches were full of fruits that fell and gave life to the Amazon. 
One day, the god Wahari and his nephew Ruarie cut down the tree. Ruarie sawed at the trunk until the tree fell. The branches that fell to the north formed the forests of the Kuao River, and the branches that fell to the west formed the mountains of Sipapo, Waichi and Uripikai. By the way, thousands of kilometers away from this place, the natives tell another legend, but its similarity is amazing. It's the legend that surrounds the Devil's Tower. This colossal mountain rises more than 1,500 meters above the valley in the U.S. state of Wyoming and is said to have been formed 225 million years ago. The name Devil's Tower was given to it by the settlers who arrived there. The ancestors of the Kiowa tribe knew the sacred mountain under the name Tsoa, which means tree rock in English. Some believe that, apart from its appearance, there is further evidence that it may actually be a giant fossilized tree stump. Interestingly, the Bible also refers in some places to the existence of mother trees whose enormous size provided shelter for various peoples. For example, Ezekiel 31, 6, 12 and 16 states, all the birds of the sky made their nests in the tree's limbs, and all the wild animals gave birth under its branches. All great nations lived in the tree's shade. So this is what the Lord God says. The tree grew tall, its top reached the clouds, and it became proud of its height. So I handed it over to a mighty ruler of the nations for him to punish it. On the mountains and in all the valleys and its broken limbs were in all the ravines of the land. All the nations of the earth left the shade of that tree. I made the nations shake with fear at the sound of the tree falling when I brought it down to the place of the dead. Then all the trees of Eden and the best trees of Lebanon, all the well-watered trees were comforted in the place of the dead below the earth. It seems that this was not the only tree that was cut down. There were many others whose remains can be found all over the earth. In view of these similarities, one could come to the conclusion that the legend of the Piaroa natives that they were giant trees in the past is true. Would it be possible that the stories of the tribes living near the Tipuis are true? They tell us that non-human beings inhabit these mysterious and inaccessible plateaus, even if they consider them to be spirits or terrifying gods. The fact is that we do not know what really happens on the mysterious peaks of the Tipuis. But according to the local tribes, this extraordinary light and these mysterious beings have always been there. If there were beings that did not want to be seen, these places would undoubtedly be the best hiding places in the world to go unnoticed. More than 90% of the plateaus of the Tipuis have never been entered by humans, and it seems that this will continue not to happen, because access to them is still forbidden at the moment. So, for the time being, we will not be able to reveal the secrets of these vast and beautiful areas. <laughs>